YouTube, what up, man? It's your boy AD. I'm back again with another video. And as you can see by the title, and of course by what's on your screen, man, we got a new update that is officially coming out within the next hour. It's on downtime right now for X to find year one season 1.5. Here's the patch notes. We're gonna do a quick read through. Yeah, my thoughts, opinions on it. All right, good stuff. So let's get right into it, man. Gameplay. We're gonna skip that because it's all about jump spamming that they're they're talking about right here. Tweak to the sway penalty, which shimmies a player's aim and on subsequent rapid jumps to find as those trigger within 1.25 seconds of a previous jump. So just within that quick jumping time frame, first three jumps from remain sway free as before, except now the maximum penalty applies on the fourth repeated jump and or crouch instead of the fifth. So instead of the fifth jump where you get in like just this sporadic shit, now it's gonna be on the fourth jump where it does that same exact thing right off the bat. There's no extra jump or anything like that. Previously aimed sway triggered on the four jump, didn't reach maximum sway until jump five. So now I just go straight into it on jump four. Fifth jump doesn't do anything different. <clears throat> also, the jump height penalty is progressive, meaning jump height decreases gradually after each repeated jump. So the more you jump, the lesser your height's gonna be. So you'll be closer to the ground by <clears throat> jumping repeatedly. First jump height is set at 70% of max height, then 49% of max height, then 34. Capping this after three will be the same for the landing speed reduction penalty. Other related just mirror strafing speed reduced by 25%. This is gonna be very interesting. Of course, horizontal jump speed reduced by 10%. They said that they did this mainly to get rid of some of the jittering that was going on and make it a little bit more fluid when you're doing the air strafing and jumping side to side. So it's still there, but it's gonna be very interesting to see exactly what it looks like and how slow it's made it because of course everybody wants the movement to the game to stay how it is to see how this has changed and seems to have been nerfed we'll see exactly how much slower it is i think it's gonna it's gonna roast people the wrong way depending on how slow it really has gotten and finally we reduce the animation speed for this transition so go from stand to crouch crouch to stand stand to jump sprint to slide slide to jump so movement in general and animation speeds have been changed drastically so once this goes live i'll do some gameplay we will be live streaming today as well uh probably on this uh we'll be live streaming this and then we'll kind of go over uh the black ops 6 uh stuff that's going on right now because cod next is today so we'll be looking at some cod next so make sure to come check me out on twitch twitch.tv says a dion make sure to catch us there also we'll be Probably live on YouTube as well, but definitely on Twitch. Make sure to come through on, on those streams, man. We live stream every single day. And for our maps, on the Daytona map, it's one of the newer maps. Players were able to shoot opponents through a wall not intended to allow bullet penetration. The offending wall is now appropriately bulletproof. Fix the bug causing a connection error when players stood on a railing in the Echelon HQ map. And now for rank play, which is what really was next on the list for a lot of people. Rain play now has ability restrictions. This means any given ability can only be chosen by one player per team, thus encouraging teammates to select different abilities. Player's ability is shaded orange to distinguish it from teammate abilities, which remain shaded gray. If the player switches to another unused ability during the match, it will be available upon respawn, freeing up, your, freeing up their previously selected ability. So with this, you can only select one type. There is no more of that uh, quadruple shields intel suits and then that crap all the time where everybody has the same exact uh abilities that is now officially done and over with you cannot do that now this might actually give me a, a reason to actually finally try ranked mode on here but there's also more here so rank mode is, has been tuned to speed up rank progression while also increasing loss forgiveness so losses are less likely to cause a tumble in your rank players now earn increased rank points for delivering a winning performance in all ranks except legends on average players should see about 30 percent more rp from one matches on the flip side, match losses are more forgiving due to an increase in the loss buffer from 45 to 75 rank points. Translation, losing players whose rank points drop the next, so the next lower rank will not fall in rank. They remain within that buffer threshold. Don't sweat it if you lose a rank match and bronze, not a loss, won't cost you any rank points. So that right there, even if you lose in, in bronze, you don't lose anything. You can keep growing, keep trying to rank up and get the hell out of bronze, which I think will have a lot of people give a lot of people interest in at least attempting it because then it's like all right let's see see if i can get some friends to play or just run with some random people and if you're running randoms like i will probably be doing it's going to be best of luck to you to kind of get the hell up out of there and hopefully get some dubs on the way out 
to discourage rank mode competitors from barely made match to rank point penalty for quitting has increased from 40 to 50 RP. Fix two rank matchmaking bugs, one that was preventing rank players from matchmaking in the ranked lobby, and a second bug that let rank players invite other players outside the matchmaking restrictions, for instance, players of a much higher rank while waiting in the queue. So people were finding ways to bring higher rank players into those lower rank lobbies, cheese in the system, which is kind of kind of crazy to do, but they fixed that up. And then Ubisoft Connect GS, blah, blah, blah. Primes from Matt, now they're not there. Graphical and audio fixes various, crash fixes various. So we'll see what other little tidbits of things that they may have changed will probably pop up on Twitter at some point, excuse me, X. But that is it for the X Defiant patch notes for year one, season 1.5 for X Defiant Man. Again, make sure to follow us on Twitch. We'll be live streaming today on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Adion. We're gonna be going over some Black Ops 6. This COD Next is today for a multiplayer. You can go over the Area 99 map for Warzone. Uh, of course, zombie stuff, things of that nature. So we're gonna check that out. Again, appreciate all the love and support on all the videos. Thank y'all for the subs recently as well, as we've been doing vertical streams here on YouTube and we've been live streaming full screen on Twitch. But I'll make sure to catch y'all next video. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think, man. Peace.